Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today is a very exciting day because we are going to Calgary, which is just three hours south of Edmonton here, and we're hanging out at the Brick Bin all day. We're going to be meeting Lego fans, conducting raffles, doing all sorts of fun stuff, and if I have time, I'm hoping that we can build a pretty awesome set live here on the YouTube channel and, you know, set the Brick Bin. That's retired Lego sets, so I'm sure we'll be doing some uh, Lego shopping as well because one does not simply look at retired Lego sets and not consider adding them to their collection, right? So yeah, we've got a long day ahead of us here. Uh, first thing we got to do is probably get some coffee from Tim Hortons and then uh, start our three hour journey all the way down to the brick bin in Calgary. So let's get started. So this is essentially all the stuff that I've got packed up, ready to go here. I've got all of these uh, Ninjago sets right here, which will be given away in the raffle. And then I've got the Boeing 787 Dreamliner here, hoping that we can try and get that built uh, during the event. And then I've got all these pop sockets, so anybody that comes down can get a few pop sockets or whatever they, whatever they want, if that's their, if that's their thing. Got some Ritz crackers, yeah, and then I got my streaming kit. So I've got uh, the Yeti mic, the laptop, and also the webcam in there with a couple of granola bars. And of course the camera we're using now, I think that's all the gear I need for this uh, little event here at the Brick Bin. So let's get that loaded up and let's roll out. So you can already tell it's gonna be a beautiful day here in Alberta, Canada. We passed some beautiful clouds in a nice little river valley on the way to the Queen Elizabeth II Highway here, which connects Edmonton to Calgary. And it's just a gorgeous day. Uh, it's only a solid plus four right now, but it's uh, 7.17 in the morning. So I'm assuming by the end of the day, when we're rolling home at about six o'clock at night, it's probably gonna be a plus 20, judging by the uh, Clear sky, nice and blue, beautiful. Great old start here, got my uh, Tim Hortons coffee and now we're just rolling to the brick then. Yeah, pretty awesome. Gonna enjoy some nice music and just sort of relax on the nice long drive down to Calgary. Woohoo! So we're at our little halfway point here in Red Deer, Alberta. I uh, just stopped to get a little bit of uh, McDonald's goodness. McDonald's breakfast coupon there, perfectly ripped, 100%. Uh, but this is Gasoline Alley. This is sort of where you can get gas, obviously, or essentially Costco over there, any sort of dining or lunch or breakfast. So it's sort of like a little halfway pit stop between uh, Edmonton and Calgary. But yeah, we're gonna head into the McDonald's here, grab a little breakfast, and then continue our journey here to our Lego destination known as the Brick Bin. All right, everybody, we have arrived at our destination, the Brick Bin here in Calgary. The Brick Bin, they've got some epic decals or decals on the front of their store here, Brick Bin. Look at that, it's like a Rubik's Cube with studs. That's pretty cool. Also, they buy Lego, obviously, and look at this. They've got some cool Lego heads on their door. There's the RCMP officer in minifig format. And as always, they got some epic stuff here. Look at this, Super Star Destroyer right here. Nope, not Super Star Destroyer, just the Star Destroyer right here. And then we've got the UCS Darth Maul. I've actually never seen one of these in person. That thing is legendary. Up here we've got some Knight's Kingdom stuff. Oh, Benny Spaceship, that's cool. A classic Falcon. Ninjago City Gardens, the new legendary Flower Fruit Mountain, the Vestas Wind Turbine, that's the original one though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the original one. Crazy, some Ninjago stuff, City. Bunch of good stuff here, we'll check it all out. The birds. The mine. Also some city boats. DC superheroes. Tons of small city sets. Tons of them. And a lot of these are all retired. Like 
retired and really hard to find. Like Voltron up here, the Sockleth Camel, the Silent Mary. These two rides right here, the Ferris wheel and also the carousel. A bunch of Ultra Agent stuff. Of course, some Star Wars stuff. Some of the newer helmets up here by Sesame Street. Volkswagen camper van, Mini Cooper. Some of the newer Technic stuff. Hidden in behind that, we got the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 and the HQ just above it. The Lamborghini Sion, the orange Porsche, brand new in box. The Bugatti. Land Rover Defender. Some classic Technic stuff. I don't even know. What was that? The 4x4 Crawler? Arkham Asylum. Snow Speeder, which is actually, in my opinion, an underrated UCS set. And so is the Y Wing. Legendary. I like the MTT as well. Got some modular buildings and the Ewok Village plus Betrayal at Cloud City. Death Star, Sand Crawler, TIE Fighter, Frisian Restaurant, Birch Books, Grand Emporium, Pet Shop. This is just a wicked selection. Batman Tumblr, Star Wars The Ghost. Disney Castle and Ninjago City, brand new in box. Some Monkey Kids stuff, Idea stuff, Elf Clubhouse. Then a huge assortment of minifigures. Priced individually. It's actually looking like they've sold a bunch of those. The Joker Manor. <laughs> There's something we could add to the uh, amusement park. I know people a lot, of, a lot of people want me to. Don't think we have the space for that. Never say never though, right? Uh, the 20th Anniversary Edition Slave 1. Orient Expedition beside the Jurassic World set there. Another Voltron. And check these out. These are all commission art pieces. They got like Homer Simpson, Mario, the Lego sign. Bunch of cool stuff up top there. Oh, I like this one, how they used, it's not just studs and plates. It's got a little bit of 3D effect on it. Mars Mission, Stranger Things, Simpsons House, Metalbeard Sea Cow, London Tower Bridge, Classic Batmobile and Death Star. And some stuff that's uh, just built. Some Technic stuff. These came out before my time of collecting, really. And then, of course, in addition to all this stuff here, high-speed passenger train, classic. They got all the bulk bins down here, which you can buy, like, just pab cups. It's 15 bucks a cup, but you got to pick anything out of these bins here. And they're all sorted by color, part type etc. And there's the Falcon that's going to be given away today in the raffle. In addition to all the bulk parts here, we've got all of these bins here that are full of Lego per uh, piece. You'll find like base plates here, all sorts of doors and stuff. Essentially anything really. Oh, and you know what? I said, oh, there's no minifigures over there. That's because they're all over here in this cabinet. On base plates from all different themes. CMF series, Star Wars. Here you go. Oh, I like that one. Dooku. It's a sweet minifig. Harry Potter. turtles and just above we've got some superhero stuff Groot in the back Hulk dark side at the bottom or at the back there 
that's a pretty good selection. We've got the classic yellow castle right here. Inside another classic castle. And then some space. Along with a vintage shell set. And a vintage train, wow. And then we've got even more minifigs over here. In the cabinet. Just below this container ship. And the Ferrari. In addition to all those built minifigures, we also have all these figs here which are sealed in their foil bags. And a bunch of old vintage stuff still sealed in box. Look at that. That's super cool. So lots of great stuff here at the brick bin right now. It's crazy. I don't know what we're going to get. Uh, I've got to look into getting some farm animals though. We're going to find out and see if they have any of those. Also, not farm animals, zoo animals I should say. Uh, we're just going to continue uh, with our day here. Pretty exciting. So this is uh, what we're going to be building today. This is the uh, Boeing 747 Dreamliner. Brand new sealed in box. And uh, I got the original sticker sheet down there as well. And we're going to be giving away all this stuff here today. It's the way it works is you just come on in, grab a ticket, and then at the end of the day we're going to draw all the tickets from the people that arrived today. And they'll potentially get some free Ninjago sets. Pretty sweet, eh? So I decided to do something a little bit different today, since there's quite a few people in here. I sorted all of the parts of the Dreamliner, just because uh, there's 1,200 pieces in this thing, and uh, no bags, so you have to, to get them all sorted for sure to make it easy while building today. So this set here comes with uh, two instruction manuals, and we're almost done book one. This is what we got going on so far. I figured let's have a look at some more Lego here at the brick then. So check it out, we got the newest Harry Potter Hogwarts Express, an older Harry Potter Hogwarts Express, and another older Hogwarts Express. That doesn't seem too bad. This one's only going for about 60 bucks. Seems pretty reasonable. And some of these classic trains right here are just super cool. Like that's high speed train, 333 pieces, 4511. Then we have some systems Lego right here. Look at that. That is classic. And another one here as well. A blast from the past. Then we've got a Technic rescue helicopter right here for 90 bucks Canadian, which seems pretty reasonable. We've got a classic soccer set right here. That's for your phone. No, I know. She has an iPod. She only has an iPod. Oh, yeah, but she can still put that on. And then look at this plane. What is that? Thank you so much. That looks pretty cool. And behind the Manchester United soccer stadium, or football stadium, we have the multi-challenge racetrack. It's like almost like a little slot car thing. That is pretty cool. Look at this, Tony at the Brickman even buys us lunch around here. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. So we just finished up our yeah. live stream here at the Brick Bin. We announced the winners of the Millennium Falcon and all of the Ninjago stuff. That went really well. Uh, thanks to anyone who came by the live stream. Had an absolute blast. And during that live stream, we just finished building the uh, Boeing 787 Dreamliner, check it out. This thing is absolutely massive. Take a look at the wingspan. I uh, didn't put any of the stickers on because they spread over multiple pieces and the sticker sheet was uh, mint as you saw earlier. So I've got to decide how I want to do that and I want to perfectly place them. So I figured I'd leave that for home. But this thing is simply incredible. And it's absolutely massive, so I'm pretty stoked on it. Now I've got to decide which of these lovely sets here is going to come home with me today. I don't think I have enough time to go through like the, the minifigs and stuff like that. And I think I want to save minifig browsing and also part browsing for when Jose can make it here. Because I feel like her and I are working on a lot of projects together. And... Because we're working on those projects together, she's got a good vision for the parts that we need. And if we were to come here together, we'd have, be able to have some great conversation and just have like a nice synergy uh, together and be able to find uh, some great pieces throughout these part bins. It'll take a long time to go through. We had a pretty busy day today, so I'd rather come here when it's like no business and just sort of figure it out and go through the part bins and pack a few cups. Pick up cups are only 15 bucks each, so it's really not too bad. So I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna get today and I think Tony and I have come to a conclusion that this set needs to be added to the Brixie collection. And that is the Lego Star Wars Betrayal at Cloud City. And it's uh, part of the Master Builder series, I believe it is. 
It's an MBS set. It's fantastic. Let's pull it down and have a look. So here it is. It's the LEGO Star Wars Master Builder Series. Betrayal at Cloud City comes with the Slave One. A bunch of different sections that represent famous iconic scenes from Star Wars, right? Oh yeah, there you go. And also, I am your father. Also comes with the Twin Pod Cloud Racer, I believe. No, not Racer. Twin Pod Cloud Car, I believe. Yeah, 75222 is the set number. 2,112 pieces. And check out all the minifigs that it comes with. Fantastic. Can't wait to get this thing home and build it, which we will be doing live here on the channel, of course. I'm also really eyeing up this one up here, which is a classic castle. Uh, it's got 967 pieces and is retailing for $229.99 here in Canada. Uh, 8877 is the set number. This is Validex Dark Fortress. That really doesn't seem too bad for how many pieces it has and how old it is. Also right up here we got Benny Spaceship, $129.99, some classic Star Wars stuff. There's just some fantastic stuff here at the brick bin, including individual pieces, retired and hard to find sets. Obviously, they used to have Cloud City, now they don't. I really don't know if the shopping trip is going to continue. I don't think so, because I know Jose and I are going to come back here and sort of raid their part bins as we got to work on lots of part intensive projects such as that zoo. Also, not to mention the BBC or the Daily Bugle is coming out here in the near future, although this set right here should be coming home with me, that's for sure. I was even eyeing this set because you could build a, or I could use this to bulk up the Hogwarts train. They have a bunch of incomplete sets in bags and like totes all throughout this place. So you can literally just like look for hours, right? and find some good stuff. So that wraps up our little shopping trip here and I guess meet Brixie Day event at the uh, Brick Bin. Uh, had a tremendous amount of fun, met a whole bunch of people and we got a wicked Cloud City set. Definitely will be back here in the near future. If you guys want, uh, you're from Canada, you're I think Tony ships uh, within Canada so feel free to give him a call or hit him up on Facebook or whatever if you're interested in any of those sets that you saw on this video here. Uh, we've got uh, the Daily Bugle coming out. I was thinking of stay up and, uh, stopping off at uh, Toys R Us on the way out here because it's obviously far away from Edmonton and has a different inventory than the ones here in Edmonton. Or in Edmonton but uh, I think I'll leave it because uh, we'll be at the Lego store on Wednesday picking up the new Daily Bugle and we'll also be building the Trail of Cloud City right away here. So everybody remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and enjoying the video. Take care.